Hello and welcome back to the roller coaster ride we call the UTSA football team. This team has seen its ups and downs this year with two big wins against Texas Tech and number 18 ranked Houston at the time, but four tough losses all decided by one score or less. Have UTSA sitting at two and four as they enter action today against conference rival the Memphis Tigers on their quest for the third win and their attempt to find their true identity and make it back to a bowl game. After a heartbreaking loss last week to UTEP, UTSA tries the rebound today against Memphis, who featured another running quarterback in their offense, William Gross under center. Option play, first play left side, he pitches to Jella Duncan, who is smacked in the backfield by Dominic Carter. Who else? Lays the shoulder, already getting chippy on the field, that's only the first play of the game. I like seeing the attitude from UTSA's defense. Third down and five now for Gross. The give is the Duncan. He's got space. First down and more. Picks up a block of the 40 now. Crossing UTSA territory at the UTSA 40. Third down again for Memphis now. Out of the shotgun. It's a screen pass for Harris and Brandon Ford eats that up. No problem. They had three or four guys out blocking, but Ford slips through and gets the tackle. And Memphis will settle for a field goal attempt now. Sean Slaughter, and this kick is no good. That one went perfectly straight almost, and that's not what he wanted there. UTSA will take over now. Here is your UTSA Roadrunner offense, led by the field general second-year man. It's Evan Newton, and he breaks out of a sack on second down, and now escapes. First down for Newton across the 45 of Memphis. First down, runners. On second down, the give is to Anthony Banks. Nice juke in the backfield, and he gets passed for about two yards. Could have been a loss, though. And now third down and eight for Newton as he takes the snap and looks to throw. Moving in the pocket to his right and fires to the sideline. Overthrown antenna for Jones, and that'll bring out the punting unit. Possession back in the hands of Memphis again. And second down is Gross. Hands off to Duncan right up the gut, and he's got room to run, and he scampers ahead for about nine and a half yards. It's third down and short now. Three wide as Gross hands off to Duncan. Off tackle left side, room to run. First down and more across midfield. First down, Memphis. 3.58 to go in the first quarter. No score here in the Alamo Dome. Gross looking to take off, and he's chased from behind and taken down by Buster Mitchell, the true freshman. UTSA's primary goal on defense has to be to stop the running game, but Gross will throw on second and 12, and Mitchell makes the grab, but he's hit by Brandon Ford immediately, a gain of one. Third down and one now. Gross fakes the handoff to Harris. He moves to his right now, being chased, and his throw is inaccurate, incomplete, and Memphis punts. Memphis football here again. 1.23 to go in the first quarter. William Gross takes the snap and now sprints up the middle. It's a quarterback run, and he'll go up head for a first down. A gain of about 12. Second down and three now, getting close to the end of the first quarter as the play action for Gross, and he runs again. More room to run across the 35-yard line into UTSA territory and almost into field goal range. Big third down and nine here for Memphis. Looking for the game's first points. Last play of the first quarter. Here it is. William Gross in the pocket. It's clean. He's got time, and he dumps it off to Harris, and he's buried by Brandon Ford. It's a loss. And so Colin Slaughter again, and his kick is up this time, and it is good. That's his 10th made field goal in the season. It gives Memphis a 3-0 lead. Slow start for the offenses today. Memphis gets it going with a 3-0 lead now after a field goal. On third down for Evan Newton. He'll lob it downfield. Over the shoulder. It's caught by Tim Whitaker. What a grab of the sophomore inside of Memphis territory. Gets off the jam beautifully. And Newton finds him in stride for a big first down grab inside the 40. It was Whitaker last time on third down. Who will it be this time? Third down and 11. And Newton draws him off sides. It's a free play. And he'll go downfield. Wide open. Touchdown. Tim Whitaker again. Blown coverage and offsides penalty. Nothing went right for Memphis on that snap. As Newton takes his shot downfield. No risk at all going to Whitaker. Safety turns around too late. And Whitaker's got nothing but green. It's now 7-3 UTSA. They have the lead here on third down and one, trying to extend it. Here's Newton on the snap. Quick pass outside. It's caught by Trevor Stevens. First down and more to the Memphis 40-yard line. Newton out of the shotgun. Two receivers right. Banks to his left, and he takes the snap on first down. Fires outside. It's picked off by Kylan Rayner, and he goes upfield, and Newton takes a horrible angle, and Rayner's going to go. It's a pick six for the second week in a row. Rainer takes it back after Newton forced the out route to his tight end, Stevens, and that was just a bad decision. And now Memphis has lead once again, 10-7.
UTSA looking to bounce back after the pick six. It's a handoff to Danny Moss up the gut. He makes a cut and goes up ahead for a first down across the 35-yard line. Anthony Banks checks back into the ballgame along with fullback Richie Battle. As Banks has blocks, he's outside. He's got room to run inside the Memphis 30-yard line, taken down to the 28. Second down and 10 now. Two tight ends set as Banks takes a stretch and great contain by the linebacker as Banks goes nowhere. Third down and 13 now. Newton has to get to the 17-yard line. He fires, middle cut, Stevens first down inside the 10-yard line, taken down to the five. And it's first down and goal now from the five. Out of the shotgun, read option. Here's Newton on the keeper, and he's into the end zone. He crosses the plane, touchdown UTSA. They have successfully recaptured the lead following a disastrous pick six, and now UTSA is up 14-10. Two minutes ago here in the first half, it's a full house pistol formation to give to Jella Duncan up the middle. Room to run as he scampers across midfield deep into UTSA secondary and across the 35-yard line. They have to learn to contain Duncan. He's getting too many big gains. Here's another one up the middle. A spin move at first down again for Duncan, a gain of 11. They bring in the fullback now under center. It's another run. Duncan, third play in a row up the middle. A four-yard gain. But it appears Duncan is on the ground now and hurt. I'm not sure what exactly happened, but he's going to leave on the cart now. His day may be over. That's a huge blow to this Memphis offense. Third down and one now as Duncan leaves and Harris enters. Harris takes the handoff first down. A gain of about three yards up the middle. It's now a goal-to-go -go situation for the Tigers. On first down, Gross. He wants the run, but Kellen Thomas will not allow that to happen. Taken down for a sack. Second down and goal, lob outside for Gross, it's intercepted by Adiki, and the UTSA Roadrunners have taken it back inside the red zone. That is the strength of this defense, in the red zone. And now what can UTSA do with 24 seconds to go in the half? On first down, Newton, he's going to go long for Whitaker, and a diving grab inside the 35-yard line of Memphis. A phenomenal grab by Tim Whitaker, diving past the corner. And now UTSA can extend their lead before the break as James Benson, the freshman, will knock it home 17-10. UTSA extends their lead to a touchdown now after the phenomenal grab by Whitaker. We'll go to the half with UTSA in control 17-10. The offense has been sparked by a couple of big plays by Tim Whitaker. And hopefully they can carry this momentum into the second half and score their third victory. Second half up next. 17-10 UTSA, it's Memphis football, man in motion left to right on first down and 10, William Gross to throw, he goes underneath, caught by Hancock, first down to the 34. The question now is, can Memphis's run game resurface after the injury to Duncan and Buster Mitchell, disruption in the backfield, big loss on Harris. Second down and 13 out of the shotgun. Gross will throw this time. No, he's going to take off and run himself to the first down marker. He won't quite get the first down yardage, and it'll be third down. Third down and seven after the false starting. Gross fakes the handoff and will throw. Outside, man open. It's Harding inside UTSA territory. Good separation and out of bounds. Now at the UTSA 43, handoff. Harris up the middle, and he gets about four yards, but it's taken down by Thomas. Now it's third down and six. The defense chance rising, and now Gross will throw. He's looking to scramble, and he's taken down by Dominic Carter on the spy. Good job containing the quarterback. And now here comes Sean Slaughter attending his third field goal of the day. This one has the accuracy, but it is not far enough. No good. UTSA will take over. The Tiger fans are getting nervous. Four and a half to go in the third quarter, now out of the shotgun, right hash, Newton hands off Banks. He cuts back to the inside now after starting outside and goes up ahead for a first down to midfield. Now it's third down and six, two receivers left for Newton as he takes the shotgun snap. Looking over the middle, he's got his man Randy Jones, first down inside the 35-yard line, first down. Now looking for another chain extension as handoff goes to Moss, Richie Battle leads the way, he paves the way for a first down, chains move again. Second down and 10 now from the 15-yard line. 1.52 to go in the third quarter. Newton, read option, he keeps it himself. Has a couple blocks in the end zone. Touchdown, UTSA. They've come roaring back after that pick six with 17 unanswered points, and this is Evan Newton's second rushing touchdown of the ball game. And now UTSA has a 10-point lead. 54 seconds to go in the third quarter now on first down and 10. Gross, screen set up. He takes off right instead and right into the arms of the waiting linebacker, Brandon Ford. Loss of one. Following the sack by Ford, it's second down and 11. Now Gross wants to run again. And this time Buster Mitchell corrals him a gain of zero. 
UTSA has really improved defending these running quarterbacks. They've had a lot of practice this year, though. Last play of the third quarter on third down, and Buster Mitchell has a sack! William Gross goes down, Buster Mitchell explosive around the right tackle, and he buries Gross for a loss. That's how you play football. What a game Mitchell is having. UTSA is playing with a lot of energy right now. 7.28 to go in the fourth quarter, and here's a free rusher, but Newton gets the pass off to Harrison, wide open for a first down. Good job by Newton as he breaks the 200-yard mark on the day. And now on second down and four, we'll see Newton out of the eye formation. He takes the snap. He's got Whitaker over the middle, and the big man's rumbling inside the 15-yard line. First down, Roadrunners again. It seems like nothing can stop this team right now. Here's Danny Moss again, leading the way. It's battle, and Moss has a gain of eight. Solid carry. Second down and four. Newton makes an adjustment now. I form. It's a fake to Bridges. And Newton rolls out to his left now. Off balance. He'll throw. And it's caught by Harrison. But a flag is down. What is the ruling going to be? Illegal touching on Harrison. They'll say he stepped out of bounds. Touchdown negated. Instead, now it's third down and seven for UTSA at the Memphis 11-yard line. Here's Newton. Back to pass. Fires. End zone. Touchdown. Tim Whitaker. His second touchdown grab on the day fourth of the season and he has now set the UTSA record for catches in a single game. All of a sudden the UTSA Roadrunners are up by 21 points on the Memphis Tigers. A 4-2 team getting throttled now in the Alamo Dome as hey a nice grab downfield by Hurd as Memphis is showing some life now. Inside UTSA territory second down and four for William Gross. He wants the run again. He hasn't learned his lesson. A gain of two before he's taken down by Ford. Great job defending the running quarterback today for UTSA. It's an option again. And Buster Mitchell continues his best football game as he wraps up Gross for a gain of zero. Fourth down and two. Now they have to go for it from the UTSA 27-yard line. Out of the shotgun, Gross. Quarterback draw, and he will get enough of the first down. And it's not quite over yet. Four minutes to go in the game. They're still down by 21. And Gross is hit in the backfield. The ball is out. It's recovered and scooped in midair by Chris Washington. And he's going to go all the way for a defensive touchdown. The cherry on top has been placed as UTSA now has a 38-10 lead. It was forced out by Nichols. And Washington takes an afternoon jog all the way to the end zone. And now, 38-10, to 10, down by 28. This one is pretty much in the books as Gross. His day is just getting worse. Andre Ross on the sack after the sprinting roll. They even held on that play and it didn't help him. And now we'll see Eric Hancock in the backups in the game for UTSA. This is going to go down as a 38-10 victory, but stick around. We have some recruiting talk after the game is over. We're now down to one minute to go in the football game. Here's Oscar Bridges on third down as UTSA attempts to end the football game. And there it is. 38-10 is your final score. UTSA gets a dominant home victory. 28 points. UTSA was rolling. And maybe you guys in the comment section can help me out with this, but I have no idea who to even give the player of the game honors to. We had Evan Newton with four total touchdowns, Tim Whitaker with 178 receiving yards and two touchdowns of his own, or Buster Mitchell, who was an absolute menace on the front four of the defense. But no matter what, this was a great team victory for the Roadrunners. And now following this week nine action, UTSA is three and four on the year. And we'll look at some recruiting now. UTSA does not have very many graduating seniors this year. So it's very easy for them to target the best talent possible. And one guy I like a lot, Big John Davis, 304 pounds, a nice block shedding nose tackle type of guy. UTSA has to get stronger on the inside of the defensive line to help stop those, those big gaps up the middle. They have to start closing those holes. They've gotten better at defending the quarterbacks. The linebackers have been phenomenal in that area. But what do you guys think is the main position of need right now for UTSA? Let me know in the comment section below. Next up is UTSA versus SMU as UTSA tries to even the record up at 4-4. Four four. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.